Wait, 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 Okay, on the floor. 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 the Okay, so there's my old elementary school. I'm currently in the park that's right next to the school that like a bunch of people would go to every single day after school. The park kids, okay? I was quite a park kid. So I remember playing soccer, trying to hop that fence and it seemed impossible. Let's see how tall it is now. This fence goes like right there on me now. And it used to be like above my head and I was like, oh my gosh, we can't hop the fence, that's impossible. <laughs> Over here, there's that house, there's this black dog there that everyone would try to play with and see through the fence, which they can't now because there's ivy. And I remember that they're over there, there's a whole, oh my gosh, the little pit is still there. The little, there's a little pit there that people would put dust in and then say, oh, we're, we're getting pixie dust. Oh, they put little like uh, mats under the swings. They didn't have those before. They're only baby swings. I remember getting stuck in one of those in the fifth grade and then making videos while standing in them in the fifth grade. And I remember babysitting kids here all the time. I mean, I wasn't actually babysitting them. Their parents were here, but I was taking care of them and watching them and making them feel happy. I remember this little car thing where with the 10 kids that I was watching, I'd play a game called What's in the Engine, where each of the kids would pretend to be an object or an animal, and they were they would, they would sit or stand in front of the car, and then they would say, we'd go, oh no, what's in the engine? Because something made the car not work anymore, and then we'd have to guess what that person was being. And then over here is the chickens. There's currently one chicken out here. This, my friends, is where we would spend all kinds of time and we would get all these uh, leaves from everywhere and everybody was trying to compete and see who, who would the chickens eat from the most or what were the best things to feed the chickens. Over there, I did my first like front flip over a bar. Over here, oh my gosh, this was everybody's house. This is where we'd play house. There's a bunch of trees here. Is the, oh my gosh, this, <gasps> That's weird. This stump is so worn down. Oh my gosh. It used to be a full pit and we'd like pretend sometimes we'd say that was witch's brew and sometimes it's just like the kitchen sink. This is basically my first childcare experience ever. And this was every day after school from like third to fifth grade and I would just watch like 10 kids. Uh, way back over there, there was like soccer that would happen. You'd just have the two trees be goals. Oh, so we found a dead squirrel. That was fun, we had to go over to the office and the office said, well, this isn't actually the school's park so we're not in control of this. And this hill, we would roll down it all the time. I can't tell you how many times I got injured but I thought it was really funny. And that's my old third grade teacher's room. He retired when I was in fourth grade, I hated him. But that's not what we're talking about right now. Then here is the undercover area with four square, which was the thing when we were in like the fifth grade. I remember no one ever understood what this game was. No one could comprehend it. There's two hopscotches, but no one ever knew what that was, nor did they know what this like nine square thing over here is. And I remember so much garbage happening on the swings, all the different tricks we'd try to do. And then when Cora tried to convince me that there, I, that statue's still there. There's a little statue over there, a little white statue. Let me see if I can find it over there. If you could see it, I'll put an arrow there. But there's a little statue there. My friend tried to convince me that it was alive and that only certain people could see it. So my two friends were convinced that they could see that it was alive and that it was like a gray guy. And he would wander around everywhere. Oh, and then there's wall ball, which actually no one ever, my, no, no one in my class ever really enjoyed that. But everyone else seemed to, which was good, because that means we didn't have to share Foursquare. <laughs> Over here was the jump rope center. Now, it's only because the jump ropes were set up over here, and there wasn't even a rule that you couldn't take them anywhere else. No one, just no one kind of did. And then, the most wonderful part about the undercover area, all of the wasp nests. There were so many. 
I still see a few. There's this thing, and it was supposed to be a buddy bench. Like, people were supposed to, I think, go sit on it if they needed a friend, and then people were supposed to go and, like, talk to people over there and invite them to go. No one sat over there ever. Ooh, that's when I got a really nasty cut, and I, like, cut my abdomen open. That was fun. This was up here on the rings because Sophia told me try to do it backwards and skip one. I tried to do it backwards and I did it and then I tried to skip one. I ended up launching myself onto that. I was about eight or nine. I was about eight actually and I had to go over to a teacher and say I need a band-aid and then pulled up my shirt so I could so she could see it. It was like right there. She's like oh you're really bleeding. Okay and then I had to go to the nurse. Literally don't remember how to do this. Hold on. What? How do you have monkey bars? <laughs> well, I think you have to get some momentum going. And you just like that. And then just go to the next one. Oh my gosh, hold on. Ow. <laughs> How did I used to do <laughs> You think I'm making this up. You think I'm joking. Okay, you think that I'm just trying to, this is comedy, I'm trying to be funny. Oh, can't do this. I literally don't remember how to do the monkey bars. <laughs> My elbows! I could never do those ever. I could. I was a pro at these. How oh, crap. I'm gonna break my elbows doing this. I could do the first two, but not those. I would skip those. <laughs> Ow! Ow, oh, my elbows! <laughs> I used to be a pro. Like, people would ask me for tips on the monkey bar. I don't think you understand. If I can't do this, I'm get, I'm resigning. <laughs> I don't know what I'm resigning from, but I'm resigning. My freaking elbows. I'm so weak. There's actual children here, so we're gonna go. This has been a wonderful trip down memory lane, but it is time to go back to reality. What? What is up? Sophia's really having a crisis over macaroni and cheese. I'm so sad. She wants mac and cheese tonight. But mom already made her something for dinner, so she's not gonna get mac and cheese tonight. So she's very sad. I said, Sophia, you can have mac and cheese tomorrow, just ask mom. So the mom said, yeah, sure, I'll make you mac and cheese tomorrow night. And Sophia, what's your worry? Um, that I won't want mac and, that I won't want mac and cheese tomorrow. Like my, my head, my mind won't want mac and cheese. Okay, well then it won't matter. Then we don't have to care about it and we'll wait till the next time you want mac and cheese. I don't wait so long. If this isn't a first world problem, I don't know what is.